welcome to episode 65 of the Badcast. There's some cute, cute birds right there. Like yellow. You look good, bird. Oh, they're a little couple. They're a little bird couple. Oh, that's cute. All right. Got the shit on the, the road. Today, we are drinking Ale de Hardy. So, uh, Ale de Hardy is a barley wine, I believe. Let me check the bottle to confirm. Barley wine, 10.5% alcohol from Brassard's Mound. Um, Brassard's Mound is from Saint Hyacinthe. All right. In the I can't really, this is really uh, not, all right. <clears throat> In the trumpet major, Thomas Hardy gave a rather mouth-watering description of an extra strong syrupy and malty ale, a barley wine. Our version is inspired by the pure English traditions of the style. A generous hopping will give it a good bitterness when young, but it will lose its edge over time while protecting the beer. The ale of uh, ale de Hardy. Oh God, I can't. The ale de Hardy presents strong malted barley flavors to which some dried fruit flavors are added. Over time, some port wine, black cherry, and maple taffy notes could appear on the horizon. I don't want to sneeze because I'm gonna drop beer. Okay. <clears throat> Fudge, man, allergies are killing me uh, in the past few weeks. So, Ale the Hardy, you know, that's uh, Hardy right here. He's, you can't really see him well, but he, he's right there. All right. Whew. Like, the past few weeks, allergies are killing me. I can't, like, I can't breathe. Oh, okay. My nose is a bit stuffy, but. Oh, that smells really good. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. So you have a, a, a nice, really nice hoppy smell. Uh, it doesn't smell bitter, it smells sweet. It smells uh, kind of what they said, the, uh, yeah, dried fruit. Um, you really smell like a little fruity smell. Um, Smells nice, smells really nice. All right, does it taste good though? Oh, nice, this is, this is good. This is really good. Oh yeah, all right. So it's 10.5% alcohol. Um, right off the bat, the texture of the beer, the feel, is a really nice syrupy um, kind of feel to it. Not like a stout syrupy, but a part of wine syrupy, uh, obviously. Um, you get a really nice thick like coating in your mouth. It just like slides right down. That's kind of weird to say, but uh, that's what it is. Really nice, uh, full beer. Um, it's not too syrupy that it like makes you feel clogged, you know? It just like, y y usually when stouts are really syrupy, you can only drink like half of it and you're like full and you're like, fuck that. This is really nice. It goes down smoothly. Um, really good taste. Um, You really taste a, a bit of fruitiness in that. Um, like they said, in the first like couple of sips you get, you get a little, little really minor bitterness from the hoppy side, um, but it's nothing, nothing uh, to, to, to pinpoint, I guess. Uh, it's really nice, really smooth hoppiness. This is a great, 
great hoppiness, the perfect amount. And then you get a little nice um, sweet, fruity, what do they say, maple syrup? Ma maple taffy. Really nice, nice wine kind of sweet taste to it, but not too much. This is actually really fucking great. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Excuse me. This might be, uh, not even joking, this might be in like my top five of beers of all time. This is really nice. Hmm. You can tell because I keep drinking it. <laughs> now it's really nice, but then again, I think a bottle of this would be enough. Um, I wouldn't drink this every night, obviously because it's 10.5%. It's, it's pretty heavy beer. Um, like I, I'd say maybe like three quarters of this amount, of uh, the bottle's amount, I guess, would be perfect. I, I think drinking all of this uh, alone would be uh, hard, because it's a, it's a really strong tasting beer, so you're gonna get kind of sick of it after a while. Um, so I guess like, maybe like, 300 milliliters or maybe like 250 would be perfect. Um, this is a bit much. Uh, I would share a bottle of this with someone else. Perfect. Um, but this is really good. So shout out to Boss Mom. You make good beers. You uh, received the official seal of approval. <clears throat> Um, all right. Emails, let's check for some emails. I don't think I have any emails right now. Refreshing, refreshing. Come on. We still going? All right, ain't no emails this week, God damn it. All right, okay, that's it, that's all, baby doll. All right, uh, so let's go to news, I guess. I don't have much to say, uh, except the GTA 5 DLC came out uh, today, because it's Wednesday today, so yesterday for you guys. Um, this DLC uh, brings a uh, four new cars. Yeah, four new cars and two new uh, air airplanes. One uh, helicopter, one plane. Um, so the the biggest addition to this is uh, the Pegasi Osiris, uh, which is a $2 million car or $3 million, I'm not sure, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, I don't know if it's the fastest, probably, because it's ex more expensive. Um, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, oh, excuse me, man, allergies. Oh. Um, so yeah, there's a uh, Pegasi Osiris, which is the supercar, the fastest car. Uh, two or three million, I don't remember. Um, there's a uh, their their new car is a livery car. It's the I don't have the names. I think it's Virgo. I'm not sure. Um, uh, but that one's the new new kind of car that you can put like logos on it, like Louis Vuitton or like fucking triangles and stuff. You can customize it pretty well. Um, there's another two door that I don't know the name, and another one that's like a, uh, a gangster car. You could say it's just like a muscle, muscle supercar kind of thing. It's uh, kind of looks like an El Camino, 
uh, I think, if I remember. Um, so I'm going to go play that after the recording because uh, I'm kind of hyped. The update also brings the Luxor Deluxe. Luxor is the jet, the 10 place jet, I think. Not sure. Uh, but then once the Deluxe version, which is in gold, it's a golden jet. Uh, this golden jet is 10 million GTA bucks. So um, if you want to spend that much, um, which I did, um, there's an ant on my wall. All right. Um, so it's a 10 million jet. I don't think there's anything different, but it's in gold, so I don't know. Uh, there's also a 2 million helicopter, I believe, or 5 million helicopter. I don't got the prices, so I don't remember. Um, but it, this one's a Swift. It's a um, helicopter, but it's in gold now, so I don't know. Um, there's also a couple of new guns that I haven't checked out. There's new clothing also, um, so you can have like a Macklemore jacket, you know, like a really thick leather jacket and stuff and like baggy pants and sneakers and stuff um, so that's cool I think there's a couple new races and deathmatch maps or something um, there's an event going on this weekend I believe that will give you uh, double RP for races and stuff so uh, check that out it's gonna be rad and if you're like me if someone if a hacker gave you money, um, it's time to spend it. Because I just bought all the cars and uh, it cost me about 19 million dollars, so shouts out. <laughs> um, Alright. Uh, I guess I. <sighs> it's not a bad cast. If you don't crash. I guess that's it for news. Um, except for like E3 is coming up. I think it's starting next Monday. I think. I'm not sure. Um, so hopefully the press conferences have good stuff to announce. And not only games that are going to come out next year. Because um, uh, last year was like... 20 million games announced for 2015 and like three of them came out so E3 man it's a hell hell of a thing um, so except for that I guess that's pretty much it I don't have much else to say um, I don't know that's pretty much it this beer is really good that's all I gotta say um, I guess I'm just gonna end it here. End it, get it. <laughs> um, all right. So thank you for watching episode 60, 65 of the Badcast. This weekend, going to Saint Andre. Shouts out. You know who you are. I'm not gonna name any names. Uh. But it's gonna be rad as fuck. So, uh, shouts out. Thank you for watching. Hit us, hit me up. Hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash the badcast, twitter.com slash beer and duke. Mud20k at live.com is the email address that you can send me questions and I'll answer. Um, I think I'll go, uh, go play some GTA now. So, uh, Thank you for watching, and see you next week.